Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Levin, and I'm a senior sales engineer with UiPath. In this video, we'll be covering the Email AI Solution Template. Email AI Solution Template provides recipes to accelerate building AI solutions for smart email processing. These recipes are ready to use components, including ML models, sample data sets, RPA workflows, analytics templates, and human in the loop technology. With Email AI, you can detect intent in emails, discover urgent and high volume emails, extract relevant data, and show impact of AI enhanced automations. First, let's take a look at the workflow. The robot will start off by initializing the workflow and setting a few variables. Next, it will capture the first email and move to the Email AI processor sequence. In this sequence, the robot will execute four machine learning models hosted in an AI center. Those models are name entity recognition, semantic similarity, sentiment analysis, and text classification. After that, the robot will execute business logic to determine if human action is needed. There are two reasons that human action would be necessary. First, the email was labeled as urgent because the email was classified as a loan issue and the loan amount is above a certain threshold or the email had very negative sentiment. The second reason is that there is a technical exception because there was low confidence in any of the predictions and we need a human to validate those predictions. The human validated data will be sent back to AI Center to retrain and improve the model. If action is needed, the robot will create a task in Action Center for a human and continue the workflow once that task is submitted. Otherwise, the robot will immediately go to the robot action sequence and take the necessary action based on the urgency, the classification, and the data extracted from the email. Once that is done, the robot will move to the next email and continue the workflow. Next, let's take a look at the emails that the robot will be processing. You can see here, there are six emails that the robot will process, and each email has a completely different body. Now we're ready to kick off the automation. Now the robot is running, and it starts off by creating the transaction CSV, where transaction issues will be logged. Now the robot is processing the first email, and it was classified as a loan issue, so the robot is creating the loan issue in the CRM. Now the robot is classifying the second email. This email was classified as a transaction issue, so the robot is logging that transaction issue. This email will require human action, so let's jump into Action Center. Here you can see the action that was assigned to a user that contains all of the relevant information, the email subject, the email body, the reason for this action, which is an urgent email with the loan amount above a threshold, and the outputs of all of the predictions. You can see the entities extracted from the email with the loan amount of 500,000, which is above the threshold. This email is labeled as urgent, and this means it will be assigned to a customer service agent to work on it immediately. Now let's press submit, and the robot will continue the workflow. This email was classified as a loan, so the robot will create the loan issue in the CRM and assign a customer service agent to this urgent email. The next email is classified as misinformation or clarification issue, so the robot will respond to the customer question based on the frequently asked question responses. This email requires human input, so let's jump back into Action Center. Again, you can see an action created for a user with all of the relevant information. The reason for this action is the email classification confidence is below a threshold, and this email was initially classified as misinformation. If that is incorrect, you can select the radio button for the correct classification. Since it was classified as misinformation, the robot extracted the question from the email and used the semantic similarity model to map the question to a frequently asked question. Additionally, there is a list of frequently asked questions so you can change the question if the prediction is incorrect. This human validated data will be sent back to AI Center to retrain and improve the model. Now the robot continues where it left off in response to the customer question based on that human input. The robot moves on to the next email, and this email is classified as a transaction issue. So the robot will log that transaction. The automation is now complete. Let's jump into the CRM to see the loan issues that were created. 
You can see here we're on the loan issues page and there were two loan issues created for the two emails classified as loan issues. If we go into the first loan issue, you can see this is the loan that was worth $500,000 that we saw in Action Center. And the second loan issue is $90,000. Next, let's go into Outlook and take a look at how the robot responded to these customer emails. This is the urgent email that we saw in Action Center due to the loan amount being above a threshold. You can see a customer service agent was assigned to this issue and the robot has notified the user that Vishal, the customer service agent, was assigned. The next email is classified as a misinformation or clarification issue, so the robot extracted the question from the customer email. The customer is asking how to add an additional signer to the business account. The robot uses this question and the semantic similarity model to map this to the frequently asked questions and respond to the customer. And here the robot provided information on how to add an additional signer to the existing account. The next email was also classified as a misinformation or clarification issue, so the robot did the same exact steps and responded to the customer providing information on personal loans. Now, let's take a look at AI Center and see how the robot will retrain and improve the model. We are within a project in AI Center and we are within the data sets tab. You can see here we have two folders, test data and train data. And if we go into train data, you can see we have the initial data set that the model was trained on for text classification. And additionally, we have new data that was sent back to the model after a human validated this data. Now, let's go to the pipelines tab. And in this tab, you can see that I've scheduled a full pipeline run to retrain and evaluate the model. This pipeline is scheduled to run every week so that we are continuously retraining and improving the ML skill. And finally, it is essential that we monitor our KPIs. So let's jump into UiPath Insights and take a look at the dashboard. Here you can see the Insights dashboard that was created for the Email AI solution template. This dashboard consists of tiles that display the relevant information for this automation. In the top left, you can see the total number of emails processed. To the right of that, you can see the automation distribution pie chart that shows the percentage of emails that were automated with straight through processing and how many required human intervention. It is important to point out that you can set alerts for tiles. For example, creating an alert if the percent of emails that need human intervention goes above a threshold. Below that, you can see the tiles that show the output of the models that are hosted in AI Center, the distribution of intents and classifications, the distribution of entities from the NER model, the distribution of sentiment, and finally, the distribution of frequently asked questions from the semantic similarity model. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo on the Email AI Solution Template.